まされた日本とまずはぶった切るてめえの煩悩もっと知ってりゃ不器用に本論その前に常に己にもっとはあ By the time we're recording this, we have reached 100 subscribers. Let's celebrate! Yay! Yeah. Fireworks for me! Yes! Perfect timing. And that was more than enough, I guess. So, hello everyone, it is me, your lord. And I'm the brave. And we are fucking back after, what, two weeks, I believe? Yeah. <laughs> to finally continue Yakuza Kenzen. Yeah, I we, can... had, we had the Canadian Thanksgiving that is in October. Unlike the American Thanksgiving, which is in November, if I remember. I think so, yeah, actually. So, yeah, schedule issues, but whatever. We are back. I can't fucking remember what you're talking about. Whatever. We are back. To okay. Oh! Oh, yeah, now it's down. The monk is following wait, us. Wait, wait, wait. What? I... And now we just have to. Uh, I just... I'll run in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, let's go! Let's go get some bitch- I mean some courtesans! Wow, he's super hyped. Look at this. Look at- This is the run of men who are hyped for courtesans. Is he following it? Come on, old man. It's time to revigor yourself. Yeah. Tsuruya. Crane thing, whatever. Here we go. This is where the bitch is at. I'm sorry, I do not condone the use of this word unless it's, a, it's for joke purposes. <laughs> dun, dun. Ah, that famous instrument. Yeah? yeah? <laughs> sure, I drink now. You don't have the face of a man who looks hyped to see courtesans. What's, about, what's up with that? Oh. Look, it's Yoshino. Yeah. Like, I don't know if that's supposed to be s seductive or whatever, but one thing I will know for sure... It's about grace. Well, that's that's exactly what I was about to say. She's, like, she's, she is very gracious, at the very least. That is for damn sure. That's the thing uh, about Japanese. They are all about grace in women. And honor. HONOR! And shit like that. And very shitty haircut. But honor and grace nonetheless. The ideal woman is a woman that is as soft as silk, but still has some iron in her. Able to take care of the house and defend it. I, 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 ah, so that's what... Oh my god, so uh, Persona 3 Portable was extremely fucking sexist. <laughs> so that's why the female main character has a Naginata. Well... She is the perfect girl, I guess. She's the perfect regular high school it's not, girl. It's not sexist because actually a man using an aginata will be said, yeah, that's a women weapon. Why are you using that? That's what I mean. I mean, it's kind of sexist. That's what I mean. Oh, well, it's Japan. Old old school Japan. And anyway, every fucking place in the world, especially back then, was fucking sexist and everything. So, I guess... Well, at least they trained their women. Like, yeah, that, that is like true. Europeans. That, that is true. That is true, though. Fucking burner, Europe. <laughs> you should follow Japan's example a lot more. With all their sex robots and everything like that. Except the Scandinavians. Because the Scandinavians... Where are we going with this? The Scandinavians oh were... Like, yeah, the woman is just as equal as the man. In fact, if she doesn't like her man, she can divorce. Simple as that. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. Also, they were supposed to be really good with, women, with money. So they handled all the money. Ah. Interesting. So that was today's history lesson with Elianis. Now, uh, what the fuck are they talking about? Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're probably talking. They're talking about st how, how the fuck should I know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm not. Uh, I'm, not I'm not a student. I think he said that. And uh, that could kind of call, to call me sensei anyway. I believe he did say something like that. Actually, yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe. So come on, get fucking shit-faced, that's what you paid for, and let's go. 
We promise it. We promise these are the rules of the pl of the of the workplace. We promise we will not steal your belongings while you are extremely shit faced and passed out on the floor. <laughs> Unless it's really valuable. But... Well, I'm gonna go take one hell of a fucking dump while you two have fun together. All right, see ya. <laughs> Something like that. <coughs> That's hard. Though. That must have been a rough fight. I mean, we're talking about a guy who's able to fucking stop. Who was it? Oh, okay. We we're talking about a guy who's able to fucking stop blades with the, with two fingers. So I guess the well, dude. He did not did... stop it. He cut it, and the guy was, wasn't able to uh, move it. Which basically amounts to stopping it, in a way. But uh, yeah, I guess there's some fine points, fine prints there. But yeah, so that means this would have been one hell of a fucking fight. All right, is uh, is uh, our uh, Miyamoto Musashi opening up a little? Oh boy! All right, another moment where I'm not sure what's happening, but they, they do have small talk. I'm pretty sure it's just uh, it's a char character like, development. How did you did, did you two meet? And uh, <laughs> the alcohol texture. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't think people will ever be able to animate liquids correctly ever. They will give the illusion that the liquid is well animated, but... And again, I've seen some pretty good shit. I remember the whole... Oh, the only way you can... Well, I, I can animate it, but you can FMV it. Yeah. Yeah, and FMV is way easier, but yeah. Then again, I do clearly oh. remember that fucking whole level in Uncharted 3, you, uh, which is too bad it's fucking right. useless in terms of the story. <laughs> But it was fucking impressive where the bolt was physically being swung around, bobbing by by actual real-time water. It was pretty impressive. So... Yeah, we really have nothing to say in this fucking scene. It's such small talk. Well, probably character development, but still kind of small talk. Especially small movements, that is for damn sure. Yeah, minimal <laughs> movements, yeah. Well, at least the, the... Uh, I think he asked her name. Yeah, that would make sense. Like, you, you, you know, you kind of look like that girl I actually lived with and just died. By the way, what's your name? <laughs> you actually look a lot like her. This is getting weird. Yeah. That's the appropriate reaction, I guess. So, yeah. also, uh, these are some very orange chopsticks. Yeah. <laughs> also, earlier, he said yeah. soka. I think uh, you know what to put. Yeah. I will say it. I, 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 I'll, it's maybe, maybe not. There, there's a limit eventually. There's already going to be so much editing to do, putting the videos over that, making sure everything fits. It's, it's going to. Uh, Oh, uh, that's right. I do believe that he just made up that name, like right now. I believe, like, I, I did not edit that episode yet by the time we're recording this, but I do believe that her sister actually once mentioned uh, some town called Kiryu, literally, which uh, I don't know for what purpose, probably linked to the father or where the fuck the duel happened and shit like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, they. So I guess that's what he thought about. He said, Yeah, I'm Kiryu. I know it's a forgettable name. What can I say? <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a name that is really not set for great destiny and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. We don't have much to do. Really not. Like for these, bit, that that's the weird part about these bits. Is that it's there's so little animation. Like, but you know that what they're talking about is relatively important because they, they took the they made the effort to yeah. actually voice it yeah but, but yeah. we're going to look like like uh, such idiots no oh, this is amazing i love that i love like especially while i'm editing it's pretty funny to see like there's the whole story and i for example the whole thing about the shinsengumi i did check it it is totally initiated that's yeah. actually totally a group initiation, which means that while they're li they're literally saying you know the Tokugawa and shit like that, I'm like, I, I think he talked about Shinsengu. <laughs> like, oh my god, I could not be more wrong. Yeah. It's not the right time period, even. <laughs> you know, I do like men who are shit faced. 
Well, this these this is an alarm. <laughs> there are signs that I need to look at. <laughs> okay. That is kind of her job anyway, to be fair, so. Oh no. She's totally trying to seduce me even though it's her job. She that must mean she loves me. <laughs> It's kind. It's kind of weird. like. Did, uh, wh while we're talking about that, uh, I think she just said the price of a night goyaku. Yeah, uh, that is a thing that could be done, but the if I remember correctly, but the price is extreme. Or you can buy their. The phrasing is fucking weird, but you can buy their freedom. Maybe it's just a translation that makes it sound super weird, or maybe that's actually it. But. Uh, yeah, you can actually, if you pay a shit ton amount of money, depending on the ranking of the courtesan, because you know, there's like hostesses, there's like the number one, yeah. and stuff like that. You can actually literally buy her out. And it's like, like for example, if love, if love actually blooms, you can just go, well, I'll just buy her out. Now she won't, she won't work there anymore. She's now mine. Woo! Marriage and shit. So maybe that's what she talked about. You know, always trying to entice it. You know, it's the pr it's basically like hostesses. You know, it's the promise of, uh, you know, maybe you'll get some and shit like that. Mm -hmm. There's, I believe, there's a problem outside or something, but uh, I think. But uh, for now, uh, what I was, I was, the fuck was I? But we won't uh, be able to uh, do anything. It's not it. I just, fuck. I was, uh, I was trying to talk about something earlier before. Going to the oh yeah, uh, I do believe that this game also they actually took some real girls to do the courtesans, just like they did for the hostesses. I mean, for the courtesan that replaces the hostesses system. And um, well, it must be because I saw a few that when I actually did it on, by my side, which was pretty hard in Japanese. <laughs> that um, some of them were actually extremely fucking stunning. <laughs> So I look at them and I'm like, okay, they have to be, they have to be real girls. Like this is too fucking beautiful to be fair. <coughs> Especially the number, the the big one, the one that costs like ten, one real every fucking visit. Sorry. That one was literally extremely beautiful, and uh, they, they, she just showed just the right amount of cleavage to make me go, okay, this is a little bit more risque than the other, the other courtesans. But I don't know the the whole way she she they made her. That was like this girl, this woman is extremely fucking beautiful. Jesus. Oh yeah, and you can't have weapon. Oh, she recognizes the whoops. So that puts quite the fucking perspective, because this is a flashback. Are you telling me like she kept that the whole time? Oh yeah, I think it was a dude who was harassing a... I was about to say a hostess again. A courtesan. <laughs> Hold on, do I have my uh, stuff equipped? No, of course. Uh, wait, I believe I can actually grab something that was pretty funny. Well, fuck it then. <laughs> wow, Wasn't that was... thing? Nah, nah, there was something else. But then again, I'll be able to have it equipped when I'm uh, in Gion. Uh, when we go back to the present time. So yeah, in the end, that was a, oh, you poorly modeled extra. Yeah. But yeah, so I guess uh, you were right. That was a pretty good idea to stop actually the recording when we last stopped it because holy shit, this could not. Okay. This is a whole new episode. She's, oh, she is, she's having flashback from the... from Vietnam. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is my sword. Do you? Thank you. Dosta, daijoubka. Are you a kid? Yo, that is five fucking real. Yes. This roughly translates to well, roughly. That's exactly fifty thousand yen. Hmm. Or man, in this. I'm still not sure what. Wait, anyway, we're in, we're gonna keep it simple and say yen, even though I believe the currency was different back then. But yeah. like, people know what we're talking. At least what we mean. No, no, I didn't see anything troubling. It's fine. I'm, I'm just gonna go. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take a dump. I mean, oh. well, it looks like a normal evening. Let's go. Get fucking paid. 
it was super easy. <laughs> yeah, I can get money easy here. Wow, this town is awesome. <laughs> So I guess eventually, well, we all, well, we all know that eventually he's going to choose to stay. Like, duh. <clears throat> so there's going to be what, like a total of eight episodes before we actually get to the main game? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, are we? Uh... I believe he just made his, uh, it was like a few days later or something. Like he just, uh, yeah. yeah, I got my own little place. I don't need beds or anything, so that's gonna be pretty easy to maintain. Just my crack pipe and stuff. My uh, ancient traditional Japanese bong. <laughs> oh. Wow. That's a shitty place. You fucking what, mate? <laughs> well, that's a shitty hat you have huh, in your face. <laughs> Yeah, but it protects me from the, from the heat. Oh, you're gonna feel the heat. <laughs> One day, I guess, maybe, I'm not sure. <laughs> this is already stupid. Ah, uh, first episode and we're back into the stupidity. This is amazing. I, I, don't, I feel like the fact that we don't really have to focus on what they're saying I actually makes us say, say really more dumb shit. Kind <laughs> of. Ah, uh, this is... <laughs> What you said is just, it's funny. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure anymore. I cannot exactly read that well myself. So, uh, what the fuck is the place called? I, I know it has a... It's a crib. That, <laughs> I, I know it has a... Here, put this shit on. It has a cool dragon in, in the back. It's a very unique design. It'll probably lost it, be lost and in time. And a tiger belt. Yeah, I know it's supposed to be uh, to make you uh, to make you strong, but this one's a fake. It's just for show, but you look really cool with it. Oh, yeah, the dragon! The dragon of Gion, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I quick changed. <laughs> You actually managed to remove all of your clothes? No, it's just so that he can just pull it and he has the, the previous suit under. Uh, I think that's the one, that's the one thing though that, of course, it, it's kind of sad, but of course, I don't think that's, that trope ever happens in those spin-offs. Ah, yeah. Where he just, they just grab it and remove everything in one swing. Well, they're not Yakuza's. Like, what can I say? Only Yakuza's have this right, apparently. <laughs> Only the cool guys can do it. So, uh, I'm not sure exactly what he said I think either. he said, uh, I'm leaving. <gasps> We've been friends for like two days. Oh, you don't need me. You have your crib. And I have to go back uh, to my temple. Oh, he did not change. He just put it over. Oh. That's actually pretty impressive. That's actually pretty surprising that with their clear budget cuts, they actually modeled the guy with his previous suit under. A maybe model just, that, that maybe will be just used. for the scene after the words it would. Yeah, but like that, that's what I mean. That means they made a new model just for the scene. <laughs> I do believe he act, like he actually gives him like a new full name in this scene. Like it's the monk who does it. Yeah. He's like Kiryu Kazumanosuke. That sounds pretty basic and not important. So. <laughs> yeah. I, love, I, I, I really love that idea of just going, yeah, no, Kiryu Kazuma, that's not going to amount to anything, ever. <laughs> At all. Nothing. <coughs> somewhere in the future, somewhere in the future, Kazuma no Musashi is looking down and like, what the fuck? Wow. That was one hell of a fucking coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's not like it's his real name or anything. <laughs> so that's just. <laughs> and then Gorohachi's just beside it, like, yeah, I love <laughs> this guy. So, man, I love this. this uh, I love his mojo. <laughs> 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 
Man, he's ugly though. <laughs> stupid haircut. <laughs> Mashima has a fucking stupid haircut. <laughs> yeah. uh, I can't remember, is it just me or actually, uh, what's his name? You know, the guy in Home Alone. Kevin, I believe. The guy played by Macaulay Culkin. Doesn't he have this haircut at one point or is it just me? Because that would be one hell of a fucking parallel to make. <laughs> Both are psychos. Okay, we really have no clue what you guys are talking about. Please progress. <laughs> We're really running out. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you fucking ellipses. Yeah, but I do believe that's probably where it is they actually, he actually starts giving him the name, I think, maybe because it has some sort of meaning also and uh, shit like that. And uh, so he can, uh, so he can uh, then proceed to fuck off from most of the story. <laughs> yeah. Either for most of the story or indefinitely, who the fuck knows? But uh, so he can just fuck off. Well, I know at least the kanji for no. Yeah. <laughs> There's at least that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, we're totally running out. <laughs> Th this is great. This is wonderful quality content and everything. This is Jesus Christ. Sorry. <laughs> well, this guy just keeps apologizing for for something in the background. So this is how I usually suck dicks, you know. I just go over it anyway. Just it's a good motion. It works. <laughs> ah. Ah. <gasps> You know who I am, even though everybody knows who I was and out there. Oh. <coughs> yes, I actually knew all and the these time. guys are looking at something. Could you see Musashi out there? That would be a good price. No, I don't. Okay, we'll just give up, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, he knew. Yep. Because he's not a fucking moron. <laughs> It's, it's like that same thing that, that it's like that same thing that what, what happened in uh, the Batman Telltale was well, just literally like just selling the Kaiju slugs and like wait hold on that jaw that cut wait a fucking minute I'm like oh my god someone who's not stupid at least she had doubts and then we, we were pretty awful at hiding it <laughs> Yeah. Well, probably because we also recognized the fucking black eyes, so it was like, yeah, okay, he knows, all right. So, hi, Rich Boy. So, I just kept going and going and going, and he just wasn't satisfied. <laughs> oh. Please show him again. <laughs> My god, what are they talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you guys get so much exposition and we're just like, what the fuck are they, co what could they possibly be talking about? And you about? can laugh at us in the comments. Well, what could they possibly be talking about for so long? I can't remember. Ah, cutscene, thank you. Thank fucking God. Ah, that's where he gives a name. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. I, you suddenly can read and understand Japanese now. Exactly, I totally got it. I agree, this guy in the background's motion was pretty fucking solid. What now? Nah, I like it. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, I believe it was. I believe that was. Uh... Oh, cool, because I really didn't have any other idea, so that's pretty cool. Like that one, that would have been awkward. Well. Ah, oh, the other guy is left. Oh. Uh, well, time for me to fuck off for the rest of the story. See ya! Have fun in your crib. Have fun starting the main game and getting out all of those fucking documents. Yep. Uh, okay, well, uh, that's gonna be a good point for the, for doing the sync test for the next episode. So, uh, we're gonna leave it there. So, everyone, I'm your lord. And I'm the brave. And we're fucking starting the game for real now. Now, now that all this perp these preparations, they're, they're gonna be used. Oh, God. It's gonna be a little confusing, but uh, we should be able to do it. And we're gonna learn some cool new shit and stuff like that. And, yeah, uh, yeah that's pretty much it. I don't have anything else to say. So, if you want, you can always keep, uh, keep joining the kingdom. We finally reached 100. That's fucking awesome. So, yeah. by the end of next month, we should be able to go reach 1,000. That should be good. <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, if you want more Yakuza, there's the first and second game that I already Show LP. it to your friend. We need more subscribers. <laughs> do it. Or just else. do it. Or uh, that joke is now so old. That's amazing. Now yeah. I just like, like I just felt that I was like, wow. Then it's not even funny anymore. If uh, we it truly reached that point where even me, I'm like, that's not funny anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. see you in the next episode. See you. Tell me no more, dear Kotoku. Tell me no more, dear Kotoku.